Hi, I'm Annette with Stone & Story Real Estate Group, Keller Williams, One Legacy Partners, and Daltmeyer Homes. Today, we are at the Linden Farmhouse Plan. I'm super excited to show you the bones and the architectural features. We are going to feature this home on our Restory event, so soon you'll get to see a new stylist style it all up with furnishings. So check out the bones. We're in the entry of the Linden farmhouse and what I want you to notice is a lot of farmhouses just have the straight rail. What we did here is we added the detail from the front door into the railing. When we go to the living room, you'll see that detail again. I love to use details three times. Entries are an important place. It's the first place you go to be welcomed into a home. So I love taller ceilings and entries so that we can fit lights that have some spunk to them. I also like to make sure we have a place where you could put a table or something to place your keys. What you're going to notice in the homes is the flooring, wide plank flooring. The thing about Kansas is we have humidity and dryness and a great extreme between the two. So we use a lot of 25-year uh, laminate product from Mohawk that is waterproof. What that does is it keeps you from cupping. When you do natural wood floors, you get that cupping, you have to refinish them, pets, everything scratches them up. These look like real wood floors, um, only they're laminate and destruct indestructible. I also do a quiet pad, so when you hear me walk with my heels, you never hear me clink, they sound like wood floors. We're in the living room of the farmhouse Linden. What I explained in the entry is that I use this great V shape from the front door on the railing, and guess what? You're seeing it again. When you hear farmhouse, you're gonna see shiplap. So here's the shiplap for this farmhouse. I also used a really traditional farmhouse tile that you'll see in three. So not only are you seeing the, th the Vs in three, you're also seeing this tile in threes. You can do fireplaces all different ways for this plan, but since this was a farmhouse theme, this is what we chose. We also went and did some lighting over the shelves. What you notice about this lighting is it's on the outside, so it will light up whatever is in these shelves. If I had put lighting in the ceiling, this first shelf would have stopped the light from the next two. So that's the advantage of putting a light on the outside. And when you do the farmhouse look, these obviously go with it very well. What you'll notice over the fireplace is there's a plug-in. There's also a blank. This blank is a conduit. So whatever technology you're using, you just fish it on down and it comes right out here. That way, all your equipment is hidden behind a door. The reason you'll see metal in my doors is so your remote works through your doors. So as I said, I love to see things in threes. So what you'll notice about the back lights in our living room is they're also in threes. I can't wait to see how they decorate and bring this living room to life. We're in the kitchen of the Linden now, and this kitchen is actually so efficient. These huge drawers have full extension and soft clothes. We use custom wood so you get that lifetime warranty. The other things I do for function in the kitchen is I make sure that you have a double trash so you can throw away and recycle. I love this because you can scrape, rinse, and then stick it right in the dishwasher so you don't have any drips. We have one big sink in here. This is Cambria Quartz. Cambria is one of my favorites. It's made in the United States. It truly looks like marble. The reason you use quartz over marble is marble would stain. So if you have a girlfriend's over and you're drinking some wine and it spills, you're gonna have some challenges. Quartz is basically indestructible. It has resin in it. It can be used in hotels and hospitals, unlike granite and softer stones like marble. We also always make sure that we have um, somewhere uh, that we have uh, spice racks and tray dividers. So we have a very efficient kitchen. We also have a huge walk-in pantry. Your kitchen is the hub of the home. So what you'll notice is the backsplash tile is similar to the fireplace tile. The fireplace tile is the black and gray combination, while the backsplash is just gray. So the whole kitchen was done in white and gray. We did carrot here, and the number one seller of Cambria is Britannica, and we did that here. I also mixed in some warmth of wood. I love the warmth of wood. I did the dark floors and so I wanted to bring in some lighter tones. I think the great part about farmhouse look is really mixing it and making it that more casual to true farmhouse feel. This kitchen also has double ovens. The most cost-effective way to do double ovens is to do a slide-in and then do a wall oven with a microwave. That allows you to have room for a hood. The things you want to think about on a hood when you do a hood when you're building is to make sure that there's nothing above it so you can vent it out. Otherwise, you end up with recirculating. So those are all things you can think about in the kitchen and that we thought about here in the Linden kitchen. 
this would be my place to hide if my kids were home. <laughs> this is the walk-in pantry. I love this glass door because look, when it's shut with the light on, it just gives you some really nice ambiance. This pantry is really nice and big. It has tons of shelves and then it has a countertop. People are like, why do you put a countertop in a pantry? Well, you can plug in your toaster, your mixer, you're not dragging all that stuff out. I've even put sinks in here for coffee pots, anything you want, but it gives you plenty of storage with all of your appliances set out versus lugging them around. So when you have an open kitchen that's open to your dining room, living room, and all that area, it's so nice to have a place to kind of hide everything behind a door. I'm standing in the dining room of the Linden, and what I want you to notice is how this is one big open concept. You've got a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, you've got that great pantry to hide things away, and this is our dining room space. Really, the table is gonna make this space because obviously the architecture is one big open space just open for your imagination. We are now in the master suite. What you notice about this is I did a really nice dreamy color in the master suite. The master suite's 13 by 13. It easily fits a king size bed and two nightstands and even a place for a chair. But what I'm really excited to show you is what's behind this barn door. Filming is hard work. So this is where I would love to end up is in this amazing soaker tub. Soaker tubs have become so much more popular than jetted tubs. They're so much easier to clean. And look at this fun little wand. So I'm super excited about this major zen bathtub. Here is an amazing big walk-in shower. What I love about these is no doors, so you don't have to squeegee them. I brought that detail in from the wall into the little cubbies, and then we have a corner shower head, and we have light from here going through this. Black showers are totally in, so I was super excited to do it in the Linden farmhouse with this kind of look of old concrete. A lot of my couples, love each other and they love their space. Um, she doesn't like his hair from shaving and he doesn't like her makeup all over. So the double vanities having your own space has been super popular. So this bathroom has its own little throne room. I love that. Uh, two vanities and then it's separated from the master bedroom just with the barn door. And then from the master bathroom, we're gonna go straight into the closet. What I love about my plans is my loop. In my original home I lived in, my bathroom and laundry room were on the opposite sides of each other, so I was streaking across that house so much, it was crazy. So when I design, I do a lot of master bedrooms, master bath, master closet, look how big this is, all the way to the laundry room. And the laundry room is right off the garage also. So it's all about efficiency. This is the garage door, so you're going to park your car, you're going to come in, you have all that stuff in your hands, you can set it down on this countertop, you can throw your shoes under the bench, you can hang your coat in your purse, the laundry room's right there, so I, the doctors are loving this because they have to take all their scrubs off and wash it immediately and you're right here. This is a great sized mudroom to collect all your clutter before it gets spread out throughout the house. So I love this idea of drop zones and laundry rooms connected to master closets, garages, kitchens, like it's the hub. Yeah, you got one messy room, but that's much better than a whole messy house. Everybody's loving gray. We're seeing that tile again that we used on the backsplash on this floor with a gray vanity, a cool mirror. So this is the hall bath for the kids. 48 inch vanity, standard tub, standard tub shower unit. Um, it's a great way to have efficient space and get your kids clean. This house has three bedrooms on the main floor, a master and then two on the other opposite side, connected by a hall and a bath. These rooms are 11 by 11. They fit queen size beds. If you do twin beds, you have tons of room. I did one of them dark, and then when we see the other one, it's a light color. I would use this one as my office because it's the front bedroom and you see out. This home also has a finished basement with two bedrooms downstairs also. So it gives you a lot of options of where you want offices, where you want bedrooms, and how you want to function. This home, as I mentioned, has the three bedrooms on the main and has two bedrooms that are 11 by 11. They're always the same size because I have two kids and they would totally fight if they weren't the same size. I just painted one the dark color and one a light color. I love quiet moments. It's one of my favorites. It has those tints of gray, green, blue. It can go anywhere. I call it the khaki because you can kind of mix anything with it and make it work. So this is the back bedroom and it gives you just another option of how you want to use it.